When we talk about Krishna loving you, to me, it often sounds like Christians saying, God loves you. And then we think, oh, you're just sentimental. You don't know really, you don't really understand. But actually, Prabhupada said this many times. God loves you. And we think, why would he love me? I haven't done anything to deserve it. So I just want to read a few things that Prabhupada said about this, because maybe you don't actually know what he said. And by hearing this, it's going to convince you that Krishna loves you, even though you don't deserve it. This is from a Srimad Bhagavatam class, April 11th, 1975. He comes, he loves us. Why not? We are his sons. Why he will not love us? He is supplying all necessities, and he wants to see that we are properly trained up in religious principles. So, why he will not love us? That's a rhetorical question. There's no reason he will not love us because we are, we are his sons and daughters. We may think we're not qualified for him to love us, but we can't think for Krishna. We're his parts and parcels. That's why he loves us. And then Prabhupada will explain this further. This is from a Srimad Bhagavatam cl class, April 29th, 1973. No, excuse me. Yeah, we'll read that first. Krishna loves everyone because everyone is part and parcel of Krishna. So Prabhupada has said this many times. Why does Krishna love us? Because we're part of him. And we think, why would Krishna love me? There's no reason. I haven't done anything. From second chance, so Krishna loves everyone unlimitedly. From a lecture, from a lecture, this is July 18th, 1966. Krishna loves us more than we love him. We do not love him, but Krishna loves us. Krishna loves every living being. He says, Sava Yonisho Kontea. That's Bhagavad Gita. I am the seed giving father of all living entities. And then Prabhupada said something along this, these lines show people through your actions that God loves them. Beautiful. So here's the conclusion Krishna loves us, even though we don't love him. It's nothing about our qualification. It's nothing about what we've done in the past, good or bad. Krishna loves us. So now, our only job is to love him back. That's it. He loves us because he loves us, even though we don't love him. So don't think that he doesn't love you because you're not qualified, because you didn't do anything to deserve the love. As a fact, we didn't, other than that we're part and parcel of him. But our job now is to give that love back. So it's given to us freely because that's, that's who he is. So please, don't any of you ever think, I'm not worthy of Krishna's love, because even if you're not, still he gives it. So it doesn't even matter, worthy or not. But our job is simply to give it back. Hare Krishna. Jai Srila Prabhupada. Yeah.